This is Anzac, Canada, and France, turn three. Um, obviously, France doesn't have any money to buy anything. Canada is going to buy an infantry and an artillery um, because they actually have to think a little bit about defense because there are German transports in range of my only factory. So, um, no, I mean, if they take it, the Americans will take it back awfully quickly, but. Uh, they could theoretically take Quebec if they wanted to. Um, so we got to prepare for that. Uh, the Aussies, in the meantime, have uh, $19 to spend. And they're going to purchase a cruiser for $12, uh, an infantry and an artillery for $7. Uh, and there is actually only one attack uh, on the board. And... Uh, so the uh, combat move is very simply that the uh, infantry in Dutch New Guinea is going to climb aboard this uh, no doubt doomed transport uh, and is going to make steam for sea zone 20 where it will do an amphibious landing in Formosa. Uh, so that is the only attack. Um, that's it. Uh, we don't have to roll it, it's just a walk in, but uh, that's, that's what's going to be happening there. Okay. Okay, non combat is going to be pretty simple. The uh, French guy in Syria is going to go down to Transjordan, and one of the two Canadians in Transjordan is going to come up to Syria, thereby satisfying the uh, Canadian national objective of having a Canadian unit in French territory. Uh, but those are the only moves that we're going to see on the Europe side of the board. Uh, on the Pacific side of the board, uh, the Aussies are going to move around some uh, forces. Uh, this infantry that was in Shan State is going to go back to Malaya. Uh, the infantry on Sumatra is going to board the transport and make sail for uh, Sea Zone 44, where it will drop off in the Celebes and claim that. Um, the only other move that we have are these two units in New South Wales are going to go up to Queensland and join the rest of the forces in uh, the defense of, uh, of Northern Australia there. Okay, uh, so that's that, I think. That's going to be it. Uh, so we'll come back with placements and, uh, and money. Okay, Canadian placements are pretty straightforward. The infantry and artillery are going to go into Quebec because that is Canada's only factory. Uh, and because they have that unit in Syria, they now get one of their national or their only national objective. Uh, so they're going to collect seven dollars, uh, and then they are going to collect three dollars for their national objective. So they will have ten dollars to put in the bank for next turn. Okay, the Canadians will have ten dollars to spend. Okay, uh, the Aussies. Remember, the French obviously don't uh, place anything because they don't have any money or any factories. Uh, but the Aussies uh, are going to place another cruiser in Sea Zone 62, and then an infantry and an artillery in New South Wales. Now, in terms of income adjustments, uh, they're going to go up four. So they're going to get three for the Celebes, and they're going to get one for Formosa. So, if we go all the way to the table again, and we have a look at the income chart, Japan has to actually go down one from 38 to 37. Uh, and then um, the Aussies are going to go up 1, 2, 3, 4, 19 to 23. Okay, so they have a base income of 23. And because they are now at war, they get both of their national objectives. One national objective is controlling um, Dutch New Guinea, New Guinea, New Britain, and the Solomons, which they do. Uh, and the other one is um, Malaya is um, uh, still under Allied control, and the Aussies control all their original territory. So that's going to be five. So they're going to have 23 plus 10. $33 to spend at the beginning of next round. So while we're down here in Australia, let's uh, do our disposition of Australian forces. In New Zealand, there's an infantry. 
In Sea Zone 62, there are two cruisers and a destroyer. In Sea Zone 54, there's a destroyer. In New South Wales, there is uh, an infantry and an artillery. In Queensland, there are two uh, New Zealand fighters. There is a um, artillery, there are two any aircraft artillery, and there are now one, two, three, four, there are five infantry in Queensland. Um, moving up into C Zone 44, there's a transport, and in the Celebes, there's an infantry. In C Zone 20, there's a transport, and in Formosa, there's an infantry because that's now under Allied control. In Malaya, there is an infantry unit there. Uh, in Burma, there is an Australian fighter. Um, moving into the Europe part of the map, uh, there are two Canadians in the Mideast. There is one Canadian in Transjordan, and there is one Canadian in Syria. Uh, there is, by the way, a French troop in uh, Transjordan, and a French infantry in French Equatorial Africa. Moving around to the other side of the board. In Quebec, the Canadians now have two infantry and two artillery. In London, there are some Canadian and French units. Uh, there are two infantry, one artillery, and one tank of uh, Canadian extraction. And there is a French fighter to go along with all of the uh, British forces that are there. Um, so if I haven't missed anything, I think that is the minor allied series of turns. So there we go.